Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 17th of December, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Lazarus. I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me, even though he dies, he shall live forever. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. John chapter 11 verses 25 to 26. These words were spoken by Jesus in the context of the death of Lazarus. Lazarus who was a friend of Jesus along with his sisters Martha and Mary. We know the whole episode in the 11th chapter of the gospel according to Saint John. After that, what happened to Lazarus? Lazarus lived a life closer to Christ. He witnessed the death of Christ. And it is said that after the death of Christ, he followed St. Peter into Syria. From there, he was uh, put into a leaking boat, a leaking boat by the Jews, and which uh, uh, found itself into the shore of uh, Jaffa, uh, which is closer to the island of Cyprus. There, he became their first bishop. And then... Uh, after he died there, Constanti the king of Constantinople in the year 890 later uh, transferred his remains, his relics from Cyprus to Constantinople, that is the present Turkey. There is also one other tradition according to which, uh, according to which re, uh, tradition which has its source uh, as Pope Benedict the Ninth in his letters he writes this, that according to some tradition, uh, Saint Mary Magdalene was found in Provence, so therefore that means even uh, Lazarus was there. So that's how they were put into a rudderless boat, it is said, rudderless, overless boat, a boat which has, which had no one to over it, it had to just go by the direction and they found themselves in uh, Gaul that is the present day France, where he made a number of converts as Marcellus became the bishop. And in the uh, time of the persecution of Domitian, he was killed. He was buried in a cave there. Later, a church of St. Victor was found there. And there, his human remains were taken. And then there is also abundance of uh, uh, evidence which says that there was commemoration of the memory of St. Lazarus in Jerusalem and all over the world. So dear brothers and sisters, this fact of Lazarus raised to life from the dead by Jesus Christ is known by all of us. I used to have this doubt all through my childhood. But Lazarus also died. He rose from the dead, but he died, right? So... I was always used to think, if Lazarus had to die again, why did Jesus rise him? Why did Jesus raise him to dead when he knew that Lazarus was anyhow going to die? Then, when I learned about the life of Saint Lazarus, then I came to know that Jesus rose not only the body of Lazarus, but also the soul of Lazarus. Because he lived a life for Christ, died for Christ and he is a saint. And today, Lazarus is with the Lord at the right hand of God along with the Son of God. So dear brothers and sisters, what is the resurrection we are looking at? Bodily resurrection? If Lazarus would have just rose from the dead by the intervention of Jesus and then lived a wicked, crooked life and, become, and have, would have died, then there would have been no meaning to he raising in the body and his miracle. He said, this has to happen to glorify the Lord. So whole of Lazarus' life and death was a glorification of God. So we pray, dear brethren, that our life also may gain meaning in glorification of God. Amen.